Oh, yes, Chandler. Thank you for bringing that up. That's something else I want to talk about. Everyone, uh, the socialists who uh, never pass up an opportunity to look like complete morons, they're trying to use the panic over coronavirus to crap on capitalism. They're saying, oh, you, 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 uh, you, you dumb free marketers and conservatives and libertarians. Uh, <laughs> you guys love capitalism so much. Look, look at all this capitalism. The grocery stores are empty. You always crap on socialism for having empty, uh, empty grocery stores. And now the grocery stores are empty. Yeah, this is capitalism. Well, it's the mixed economy. But this is capitalism on a bad day. This is the mixed economy on a bad day. It's kind of like uh, when the when the paparazzi, kind of like when the paparazzi takes a takes a picture of a of a beautiful celebrity like Taylor Swift or Miley Cyrus or Kendall Jenner at, at the gas station on her way to the gym at like seven in the morning. Like, oh man, look how awful they look. Ugh. They post it in the tabloids. Like, yeah, that's them after they just woke up and they're on their way to the gym and they haven't showered yet. What the hell do you expect? Now, if they're done up right, uh, most guys in the country would happily swipe right on these uh, these beautiful women uh, if they found them on Bumble or Tinder or whatever the dating app is these days. I don't know. But yeah, this is the mix to, uh, th this is capitalism on a bad day. In the context, uh, they're, they're dropping the context, uh, that there's a panic and everyone's freaking out and everyone's rushing the grocery stores to buy stuff because they don't know if, uh, we're going to have martial law anytime soon. Not sure if we're going to have martial law or, uh, mass quarantines. Also, yeah, so one of the pictures I saw was from this goof who, uh, he posted a picture from a store in North Korea. And he's like, yeah, look, look, look how beautiful this, uh, s uh, this store is in North Korea when they really care about uh, everyone getting the distribution that they need. The picture of the store, which I'll throw up in, in post when I post it on YouTube, here it is. This looks like a this looks like a small store you'd see at, a, at an airport, right? This is like and, and this is uh, th and this is supposed to beat Walmart and, and Meyer if you if you're from the Midwest. I miss Meyer living in Los Angeles. Target, Ralph's, Kroger, all these big beautiful grocery stores with shelves stocked with with ungodly choices. Ungodly amounts of choices. This is your this is your big gotcha. Also, not to mention that uh, a lot of the restaurants are closing. Restaurants, uh, they they provide more food. So you're eliminating a source for food. Which I know restaurants are not ideal. They're usually more expensive. It's usually more about uh, having a good night out or whatever. But yeah, no one can go to restaurants. Anyone who might be going to a, to a restaurant over the next few days or few weeks or whatever. They can't go to restaurants anymore. Whoops. And so now they have to go to the grocery store and buy food to make for themselves. Whereas, yeah, under socialism, a lot of people have pointed this out. 
This is socialism every day. It's constant food shortages, constant em empty grocery stores. Constant crises. But yeah, once uh, once all these uh, quarantines, once all the, once this panic is over, uh, the the stores will be fully stocked again. 